Hello and welcome. My name is Aureo Castro and today I'd like to talk about a cost-effective way of setting up Wi-Fi on a medium-sized Asian house. This house has two floors with upper floor having a 64 square meter floor area and the ground floor with 75 square meters. The second floor has three bedrooms and one centrally located study area. At the ground floor are the living room, dining room, kitchen, garage, and the guest room. From the Wi-Fi standpoint, we have divided the house into three coverage areas. The upper floor is one whole coverage area, while at the ground floor, we have the living room and dining rooms as one area and the kitchen, garage, and guest room as another coverage area. We have two options for covering the house with a Wi-Fi signal, the first being the more expensive mesh approach and the one that is cost-effective and which we prefer using range extenders configured as access points. For comparison purposes, I have estimated that the mesh approach will cost approximately 200 US dollars, while the rings extender approach will cost only about 60 US dollars. We are assuming that the house has a fiber optic internet connection with a maximum speed of 200 megabits per second. We are situating the Wi-Fi modem router at the study room of the second floor of the house. We are enabling both the 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz bands on the router with different network names and passwords. We have enabled the highest security and encryption on the modem and disabled Wi-Fi protected setup. For this project, we need to buy two range extenders, one with dual band of both 2.4 and 5 GHz and the other with only 2.4 GHz. We also need to procure two pieces of 25 meters long LAN cables with at least CAT5 standard. Aside from these, we need to buy two 5 meters extension cords for the two range extenders. At the second floor, we let the Wi-Fi modem cover the four rooms with a Wi-Fi signal using only the 5 GHz band, giving the study room enough speed for the children to use. At the ground floor, we situate the dual band range extender between the living and the dining rooms and configure the television and other gadgets to use the 5 GHz band. We also situate the single band range extender between the kitchen and the guest room to cover these rooms and the garage with a 2.4 GHz signal. We then run the two LAN cables from the Wi-Fi router at the second floor to the two locations at the ground floor and connect them with the range extender downstairs. We then configure the two range extenders as success points, thereby getting their signals from the wire instead of from the air. Finally, we power the two range extenders using the two extension cords we bought beforehand. Lastly, we test our setup by going to the different coverage areas and testing the internet connection using our smartphone. So that is how we set up a cost-effective Wi-Fi system for a medium-sized Asian house. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope to see you again soon.